Hello everybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Binding of Isaac Wrath and Lamb. That's right, I'm back with another custom challenge run. This run is called What a Beautiful Day from Odd Sock uh, 78? Hmm. Might have messed up the, the number. I just know him as Odd Sock because he comes to the streams all the time. Anyway, uh, it's called What's a Wonderful Day because we have uh, chocolate milk, a dollar, Super Meat Boy Super Fan, uh, Mom's Purse with a Lucky Toe, uh, the A Pony, and an item of my choice. The item that I chose was money equals power, so that I have extra damage. Um, and basically, the only rules of this challenge are that, uh, ooh, miter. I'll take the miter. Um, the only rules of this challenge is I just have to talk about nice things. No talking about shitty things. Uh, and, uh, you know what? Thank you, Oddsock. I will do that. I apologize for yesterday being so, uh, so down and all that. Um, about a bunch of things. Unnecessary. Unnecessary and no fun to watch. So we will talk about happy things only like rainbows. Rainbows are extremely happy. I love rainbows. You know, I saw there was a video, not a video, uh, was it, gosh, I don't know. It was like a, um, it may, maybe it was a video, maybe it was something else, where someone actually found the end of a rainbow. It was on Reddit. I think it might have been a, just a picture. Uh, and it was like, how the hell? How, one, I didn't think that was possible because I thought rainbows were just like a perspective thing. It's like a glitch in your eye matrix. Um, and then two, where the fuck was the leprechaun? There was no leprechaun at the end of the rainbow. Um, one thing that I want to say before I go on, and this is the only not happy thing that I'm going to talk about, and I apologize, Oddsock, but I'm going to pause your challenge run for a moment. I apologize for not having- oh, balls. I apologize for not having, um, uh, another video besides Isaac out today, and I apologize that Isaac comes out so late today. Basically what happened last night is my computer crashed, uh, in the middle of uploading Camex Rob, and, uh, and then... Uh, essentially what happened was, uh, when I restarted my computer, my USB drivers in the back stopped working, so, uh, so my mouse and keyboard didn't work. I have since solved the problem, but it took me all day today. Ah! <gasps> well, I guess I'll use it once. Whatever. That's cool. Um, anyway. So, uh, so yeah. So, so that's, that's why all this stuff was like it was, uh, unfortunately. But that's okay. I probably should have went to the shop on the last floor, uh, admittedly. Um, let me leave that there. Ah, I don't really want that. Obviously, I need to keep the pony, because that's part of the challenge run. So, uh, I will, I will, I will leave that there. I will take the bomb, however. Part of the reason I, I guess I didn't go to the shop is because I want to hold on to 99 cents. We have learned through, actually, uh, one of, uh, Green's, oh god, Green's viewers, that uh, money equals power does not actually have a damage ceiling. There's no damage ceiling to money equals power. So it actually is a very good item. Um, so when you have 99 cents, you're doing max damage with money equals power. So, uh, you know, that's uh, that's a thing. That's a thing that exists uh, in the world today. Uh, let's take this pill. Okay, alright, whatever, fine. I guess I'll fight the boss, I suppose. I thought that was going to work out worse than it was. Uh, I thought it was gonna, like, send me to the devil room and then it would have Krampus in it. That would have been a bummer. Oh, man. Now we're probably not gonna get to go to... Oh, no, we still are. Awesome. Uh, I will take, uh, the range up, because I don't have anything to do anything with it anyway. Uh, we could take up his head or Brimstone. I mean, Brimstone would be pretty awesome, actually, now that... And Chocolate Milk... Yeah, alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. Supposedly, Chocolate Milk and Brimstone makes life amazing. Um... I guess it fires super fast or something? I don't know. Oh, balls! That's a bummer. Alright, that's okay. Uh, I will use a bomb here. I'll pick that up. I'll open that up. Okay, I'll take a speed up. Whatever, it all works out. Um, I could take the habit, but we're gonna be using a pony anyway, and that's not really that valuable to me. And anything else we can do? Nope, I don't think so. So off we go to the next floor. We have brimstone with chocolate milk. And, um, and the other thing. Chocolate milk and brimstone supposed to be- Whoa! Yeah, I forgot. That's a thing that chocolate milk and brimstone does. Uh, makes it kind of shitty. Uh, in that it, uh, it, like, makes it so that your first shot in a room never works. Yep. Okay, that's good. That's alright. Whatever. We can deal with it. Maybe it makes, like, your shots go super fast or something? I don't know. Maybe. 
What if uh, what if we charge it when we're in the room? Does that change things? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I can't I can't charge before the room. That's all right. We had a run like that recently. Come on, buddy. There you go. We do seem to be doing like insta kills, which is uh, you know pretty cool. We got like kill streak rewards and shit. All right, let's see what this is. Troll bomb. Ah, all right, still good, still good. Don't worry. We uh we are not. Oh right, yeah yeah, forgot, forgot again. Oh come on, flies, get out of here. With your nonsense. That's all right. Let's take whatever this is. Balls of steel. Yeah, balls of steel. Wow, that's uh, surprising. I forgot. I forgot again. I keep forgetting these things. Why didn't I kill the? Why didn't that happen? All right, that's weird. I thought I would have killed the explosive TNT. Turns out I didn't. Not a big deal. That's all right. That's all right. We're not doing max damage now with uh with the things anymore, by the way. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take the other blue heart as well. And again, we're doing less damage now, but that's okay. I'm 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 okay with that. Uh, to get more health because health is necessary for survival. Uh, in my personal opinion, life is good. Life is a fun time. That's a happy thing, isn't it? Being alive. Um, you know, we were actually talking about like the nature of uh, of happiness yesterday on stream. And uh, oh, also by the way, I am sorry about yesterday not being able to. To those of you who actually showed up for the Dungeon Land stream. I apologize, that fell through yesterday because Cameron's a fucking idiot. He was supposed to stream it, and he said he could, yet he actually had class. So, uh, so there was no Dungeon Land stream yesterday, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully we're gonna reschedule that and, you know, play some Dungeon Land at some time soon. Uh, potentially today, maybe tomorrow, maybe the weekend, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so sorry about that. But we ended up, uh, just hanging out in stream with, uh, Austin and Cam and stuff, uh, eventually. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, and we had a fun time. We were talking about the nature of happiness. And, uh, the nature of, like, life in general. And how, like, it's easy to be depressed, you know? Because everybody gets depressed. Everybody. It doesn't, doesn't matter who you are. Everybody gets depressed. Everybody, here's the other thing, and people have, uh, told me that this is, like, a, uh, you know, a depressing statement to make. But, everybody contemplates suicide. It's a thing. It's a thing that everyone does, usually in the winter time, uh, because the winter time is usually quite bleak and and dark. And by the way, don't starve. Winter update. Um, I played some of it. Pretty fucking intense, man. I'm excited to play some more. Don't starve. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. So you know, everybody contemplates suicide. Everybody, everybody gets uh, depressed and all that. But you know what? Life is too good, uh, to, the thing that you have to come to eventually is life is just too much fun to waste, you know? You only get one, and I know that's like the YOLO thing, because that's the thing that they made fun of me for yesterday as well, but it is, I know it's YOLO, you only live once, but it's true, you only get one life. I mean, the only thing that we can be sure of, right, is, uh, is that we only live one time. Right? Maybe, maybe if you believe in, uh, religious things, you believe that there is, uh, you know, a, a heaven or a hell or, or what have you, uh, but, but, I mean, the only thing that we can be sure of, I think we can agree on, is that, uh, is that you only live once. And now, I could be wrong, and you could be wrong, but, um, the only thing that we can agree on is that you only get to live once, so use that life well, you know? I feel like that's something that uh, a lot of people forget. A lot of people go, you know, from job to job, not doing what they want to do, uh, and, you know, not, uh, oh, good, I'm stupid. That's alright. Um, but yeah, no, uh, you know, they go from job to job, not doing what they want to do, or hating their job for the sake of money. I forget who it was, I think it was the Dalai Lama. Who is like, uh, you know, some people, some people don't make sense to me. How, um... Oh, that's what Brimstone does. I mean, uh, Chocolate Milk Brimstone, there you go. So I can use the Brimstone over and over again, yet it does not do as much damage. I don't know if that's better or not. I kind of like charging the Brimstone. Oh well. Also, we don't get the, like, the really satisfying Brimstone noise. That sounds boring. Yeah, it doesn't do as much damage. Maybe if we stack damage, it might do more damage. I don't know. Anyway. 
So, uh, so yeah, I mean, um, uh, anyway, yeah, the Dalai Lama, what he said was, uh, was that, you know, people sacrifice their health for the sake of money, and then they use their money to, to protect their health. And it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, you know, he was like, it doesn't really make any sense to me, and it doesn't make any sense to me either, I mean, a lot of people do that, a lot of people will, you know, go out of their way, uh, to over-exhaust themselves in their job, or whatever, and a thing that they don't want to do, uh, especially, that one doesn't make any sense to me, um, and a thing that they hate, even, uh, and then they're not enjoying themselves, or anything like that, <coughs> Guppy's paw, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting. It's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wow, double balls of steel. Wow. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm gonna leave Guppy's Paw there for right now, because I want to see if we can get a boss. I mean, a uh, uh, devil room. Because if we get a devil room... Oh yeah, using... You know what? I'm just gonna charge up Brimstone, because yeah, we do way more damage like this. I think this is a better option. We probably do equivalent damage, I'd say, but that's okay. I do kind of want some more damage. That would be that would be good. But uh, anyway, yeah. So, um, oh god, people people go out of their way to do things that they don't want to do, and you know that's that's no fun, man. I, I don't I don't I would I wouldn't want to live my life like that, doing things that are, are just for the sake of I don't know money or security or whatever, what have you. Uh, I'm gonna. Use all the guppy's guppy tail. <laughs> get as much health as possible, and then get the balls out of here. Um, yeah, I mean that's a weird thing because y you have to you have to keep in mind. I mean you have to like if you are at your job and maybe it's a job you don't like, but it allows you to do things like travel or or uh, or do any kind of hobby that you want to do, and you think that that is a reasonable trade off for. Uh, for, for getting to do those things that you want to do, if it's the only way in your mind for you to do those things, then I understand that too. Um, I totally get that. But what I really don't get is people who go out of their way to do a thing that's shitty, that they really, really hate, and they don't ever get to do the things that they want to do or explore the world in the way that they want to explore it. Uh, that uh, it, it kind of makes me, it makes me sad. Um, it makes me sad. That, that some people don't get to live life to the fullest because you know what like I said YOLO my friends YOLO but seriously that that is what's sad about YOLO is that it's totally like a true statement oh man I will take that I'll also take the key um, but uh, yeah anyway um, what's sad about YOLO is it's totally like a true life advice tip is that you only live once now, what YOLO is used to mean in, in everyday life, right, is that, uh, is, is like, you know, you only live once, might as well try some butt sex with this homeless guy. That's not what YOLO is supposed to mean. I mean, it could mean that. For, maybe you're really into butt sex with homeless guys. That's a possibility. I mean, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna shun you for, uh, what you may enjoy. That's fine. But, uh, but I'm, but uh, YOLO, I think, is, is, like, colloquially meant, like, fuck it, I'm gonna die soon anyway, might as well get closer, uh, as fast as possible, you know, and, and that's, I don't think that's exactly what you only live once is supposed to mean, I think it's supposed to mean that, you know, enjoy yourself, have a fun time, do something that you want to do, um, I luckily get to do this, uh, for what I want to do for right now, Maybe sometime in the future I won't be able to do this anymore, but for right now, this is awesome. Doing this, talking to you fine folks who, I don't know if I mentioned recently, but I love you all. Uh, I hope you do know that. Uh, because you really make my day every day, seriously. It is a beautiful thing that I get to talk to all of you all the time. Um, and that so many of you actually do watch me. It, it really, it really makes me feel good, uh, to be honest with you. And, and I'm, 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 you know, excited that I get this opportunity. And like I said, you know, maybe this is a thing that I could do for a little while and then eventually I have to stop for one reason or another. Um, but like, I will have enjoyed this time. And hopefully, whatever I have to do afterwards, I'll enjoy that as well. Uh, because that's the only thing that you can hope for, right? I mean, that's the only thing that you can kind of aim for is, is trying to, uh, enjoy your life! 
you know, that's that's really what I've been really trying to get at. Is that uh, is that you should just enjoy your life in whatever way you possibly can. Whatever that means for you, you know, that's that's the best advice that I could give on all of that kind of stuff. Um, is that uh, yeah, you know, don't uh, don't don't give up on your dreams so easy. That's that's another thing. Don't uh, oh balls. Allow yourself to. To, uh, sorry. I'll take this key. Sorry, sorry. Oh, God. There's a lot of things that happen there in that room. Um, yeah, don't, uh, you know, I've, I've met a lot of people. I've actually met a lot of homeless people. Not that to say that giving up in your dreams equates to homelessness, but I am going to say that I've met a lot of homeless people who, uh, were doing something and then they gave up whatever it is they were doing for security or money and then it didn't work out and then they're homeless. Uh, I'm not, again, I don't want to make that kind of analogy where, you know, you're gonna be homeless if you give up on your dreams. But I mean, I've also met a lot of people, working people, who, you know, went to school for something, wanted to do something really bad, they were very passionate about it, and then, uh, and then eventually gave up that job, did something for money, and they're not happy about that at all. They're not they're not excited about that. I that's that's my biggest fear is I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that uh, that old guy. Oh, I would like the mark, but we can't take it. Oh well. Um, yeah, I don't want to be that. Uh, should we look for the secret room? I mean, no. So we'll go down to the next floor. Um, yeah, I don't want to be that old guy that that regrets his life. That's boring, man. I would much rather enjoy my life while I had it. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I am a young man, so I, I don't really have the uh, sort of wisdom to uh, to really talk about these kind of subjects. But, I don't know. From what I've found, I've, I've kind of lived trying my hardest to do what I want to do as opposed to what I'm supposed to do. You know, I think a lot of people get into that situation as well, where, uh, where, you know, maybe fl uh, familial obligations. Like, for instance, my dad. My dad always wanted me to join the army. I didn't want to join the army. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I mean, not, not that joining the army is necessarily a bad thing. In my eyes, that was throwing my life away. Um, so I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to. Uh, not not to say that I would I would die in the army necessarily, because not everyone dies in the army, obviously. But uh, but in my eyes, that was just kind of throwing my life away for no reason. Uh, the life that I had, anyway. And uh, and and you know, I was just. I mean, uh, since those problems. Kind of, you know, uh, elevated. Ah, shit! I shouldn't have come here. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Maybe we'll get the box, and maybe we'll get a, a card that'll let us leave. That'd be nice. Who knows? I mean, in truth, what were we really gonna get from the uh, treasure room? You know. So I think it's okay for right now. Oh, there you go. Fire the fire the laser. Oh, okay. All right. I actually, guys, do you know what just happened? I just got locked controls. I just got locked controls. Holy cow! I thought they were gone forever. They're back. No. Uh, that's not that big of a deal. But um, that's interesting. Yep, I did it again. Did it again. We were locked. It's weird. I'm using, by the way, my USB ports stopped working, so I had to use uh, new ports that were, I don't know. Uh, I think they maybe might have been slower. So maybe, oh, dude, are those two balls of steel pills? Nice. That's awesome. That is fantastic. I am excited about that. What's this? Anything good? Bad gas? I don't know what this is. Tears down. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Not a big deal. Anyway, uh, I suppose we move on.
Sadly, we did not get to go to the treasure room and the shop, but that's okay. Because, I mean, what the hell was going to be in there anyway, right? Um, nothing good. Anyway, uh, so, um, so yeah, I don't know. Don't get stuck into doing what you think you have to do or you're supposed to do. You know, do what you really enjoy. And there's a, there's a period in life where people don't, oh god, know exactly what they want to do. Oh man, Dingus. Alright, we're still good. We do have the Polaroid and Mom's Purse, so, uh... We are able to do glorious things of majesty and wondrousness. Okay, okay. Still good, still good, don't worry. Do not worry. Um, I think people get into the old band. Oh, old band. There's an old band playing right now. Uh, wow, that's, you know... I would totally take the Book of Belial, but I am flying the pony, so I'm gonna leave the pony going. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll use that on the, uh, on the boss. Oh, God. Yeah. Using the brimstone like this, I kinda like it, I also kinda don't like it. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna use this to go fast. GO FAST! Um, but yeah, anyway, I was gonna say, uh, there, there's a period, uh, in everybody's life, I think, where they don't necessarily, well, maybe not everybody's life, some people, some people know what they want to do from, uh, from day one in life. Uh, that's understandable. Please, Diglets, stop being D-bags. Um, no, these ones want to just keep going underground, huh? Are you fucking kidding me? He still hit me. You did that song and dance, and then you hit me, evidently, in the end. You guys are jerk holes. Alright, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, so, where, where people don't know necessarily what they want to do with their lives, that's okay. Embrace it. You know? Embrace that kind of thing, too. Is like, uh, you know, there was, there was a period in my life where I, oh god, I didn't like who, oh, balls. <laughs> I didn't like balls! And I'm sorry, balls. I didn't like you. All right, I can't fire the brimstone. That's odd. This is inter like the chocolate milk brimstone thing. Like it's interesting, but it's a tad glitchy. Um, with the lock controls and all that. But uh, anyway, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Something about something. Oh, farting on your Heimer. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. It, it's the kind of thing where oh 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 I I I know what I all right. I was walking through that door. It did not let me leave. I didn't move the uh, I didn't move the mouse or the uh, my movement keys at all. By the way, when I was through that door, it just let me through after the slot machine ended. That's weird. I wonder why that happened. That's an odd thing. Anyway, we're gonna move upwards. Uh, I don't know why, because I feel like it basically. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I think people turn in cycles. Th we were talking about this on the stream yesterday as well. How, uh, you know, you're gonna change as a person as you age. I don't think it matters how old you are or how young you are. I think you're always gonna change. Um, and it's always gonna go in cycles. And some of those times, maybe you're not gonna like that. Um, maybe you're not gonna, oh god, maybe you're not going to like who you think that you're becoming. I had a period like that where I, I just I didn't like who I was uh, gonna become uh, because of how I saw myself and uh, you know I, I talked to this one teacher who I trusted with my life and uh, he said one thing he told me was that is life you're always gonna change you're gonna be changing all through your life every couple of years every it goes in cycles every once in a while you're gonna change and be a new person and that's just how life is and uh, actually it's the same teacher that made me want to learn psychology as well because he was a he was a psychologist and a uh, acting teacher really good teacher if you ever go to LaGuardia High School in New York City look out for Harry Schiffman he's actually really funny because uh, Harry Schiffman uh, well, before I go into that, let me just say, he said, roll with it. Just go with it. There's nothing you can do about it because you're always going to change, and that's just life. And that's and maybe you won't like it right now, or maybe you will, but you just have to accept yourself. 
uh, for who you are. Because that's the only thing that you got. You only got you, you know? You, uh, sure you can rely on other people and all that, and all, and all those things are good, but, but at the end of the day, you're sitting alone with yourself, uh, and a lot of times with no one to talk to, so you only got you. So, uh, you know, learn to, learn to accept yourself. Don't think with whatever you're doing is weird, because it's not. It's, uh, or uh, however you are is not good, because it is. You are good. You are just a human being, your, your struggle is just as important or as, uh, or as inconsequential as anyone else's. And, you know what, you only get you to talk to at the end of the day, and you just kind of have to accept yourself, no matter who you are as a person. As great or unfortunate as that may be, I'm gonna pick up the white pony, because I don't know, I feel like uh, rolling the dice. Anyway, um, I think we're gonna go down the next floor. Anyway, Harry Shippen, this guy was terrifying looking, like seriously intimidating. Before I got his class in, in sophomore year in high school, I, uh, I heard that I was getting his class, and I was very scared. I was very scared because the man is extremely intimidating looking. He looked like he like never smiled and he was very scary about the face and eyes uh, region. He would even tell us that uh, that you know he was uh, like like because we talked to him about it uh, after you know we got to know him and all that about him being extremely intimidating and uh, he said yeah I've, I've had people cross the street to avoid me because of how scary I look cuz he he was I don't know it's just there's something about him that just made him very scary the thing is when you got to know him he was such a nice guy like the nicest fucking guy that you can imagine um and such a smart dude too I don't know I've always kind of uh not envied but like tried to emulate him because of uh, of who he is you know I'm curious commenters have you guys ever had a teacher like that? Oh, I didn't actually want to open that, but I guess I did. Alright, so it works. Commenters, please let me know. Have you ever had a teacher that's changed your life? Because that man did. That man did change my life. Not that I was never interested in psychology beforehand, but I was way more interested in it afterwards. And I was way more interested in people and all that afterwards as well. So I don't know. Have you guys had a teacher like that, or have you not? That's a bummer if you haven't. Um, I mean, that teacher can very well be your uh, your parents as well. Uh, that's that's an understandable uh, trade-off as well. Please die, Wrath! Um, you know what's interesting? It's interesting. And I'm, I'm talking about just life in general. It's an interesting thing. And it's so good that there's no reason to throw it away on something that you don't want to do. That's, I think, I think we've come full circle in, uh, in what I've wanted to say in that I, uh, I think, okay, we, we got one blue heart out of that. That's, that, that's pretty good. Anyway, um, yeah, the one thing that I could say is do what you love and fuck everything else. That's that's my one line of advice. I think that might be a quote actually, not from me obviously. Uh I think I think someone actually said that. Do what you love and fuck everything else. It's a good quote from whoever it is that said that. Um I'm you can quote me on it too. Is that's that's the only thing that you can really expect out of life. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, if, like, say, for instance, I'm not successful on YouTube or in gaming journalism, fuck it, I tried with my one life, you know? I tried, I did what I could, and maybe it failed, but whatever. There's a lot of people who don't get the chance to say that they even tried because they're afraid of failure. That's no fun, man. Don't be afraid of failure. Shit happens. You learn from mistakes. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm talking about grandiose things without the capacity for grandiosity. Grandeur, rather, is the actual word. But I kind of like grandiosity better, uh, in truth. 
Uh, you know, Shakespeare made up some words. Why can't I make up some words? You know, I'm on YouTube. Maybe, maybe I'm allowed. Who knows? I mean, what did Shakespeare just made some, wrote some shit down on a piece of paper? What? I'm, I'm recording my voice. That's way harder, Shakespeare. Come on now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't mean to sound, uh, grandiose in my, um, statements. But, uh, but in a way I do. Because, you know, I think, uh, I think a lot of people need to hear that. Because I know a lot of people who, you know, say, go to business school. Dennis was actually telling me about this. About how, um, you know, he goes to business school for finance, but he loves that. He, like, really, really enjoys finance and business and all that stuff. Um, I do to some degree, but definitely not as much as he does. Um, I, I, I do just because he tells me about all that shit. And I learn from him. But, um, anyway, yeah, so uh, he, he tells me about, you know, students who he's talked to and who say, you know, uh, I, I'm going because it's safe. Like, I wanted to be, uh, I don't know, some, some profession. And then I decided not to because he can't really make any money in that. And, uh, he actually turned one girl into doing what she wanted to do. She wanted to do work in communications or something like that because she really enjoyed it. And, uh, and he was like... He was like, why do you, why, so why aren't you doing that? And that's the only thing, because that's the thing, right? Is that, like, you can go to school for finance or business or something, or, uh, something safe where you can make money, and sure, maybe your life will be a tad bit harder if you don't do that. Maybe, maybe you'll, um, have a harder time making money, uh, perhaps. But money is such a thing that's, that's so, I don't know, it's so inconsequential. Yeah, there's one thing that, uh, that we were kind of going over as well, uh, yesterday in the stream, oh god, where, uh, where we were saying, uh, where Austin asked, you know, if you could have one thing in the world, what would it be? Right? It, it, everything, everything's off the table, or on the table, or whatever. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And it has to be, obviously, for, and you imagine that everything is already fixed, so, you know, so... Uh, your number one selfish thing for you, right? What would you choose? And, you know, a lot of people would say money. Money is such a boring thing to say, I think. Who wants money? I mean, money is a, it's so, I don't know, money is so liquid. You can make money, you can, like, I don't know. M money to me is, is, is sort of a, a thing, a necessary part of uh, of how some people have to spend their time, or how how everyone has to spend their time on uh, dealing with it. But it's such a boring uh, concept, and and wishing for money is another boring concept. I mean, it's uh, you could get so much more fulfillment or enjoyment out of uh, so many other things. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's the kind of thing that I was that I was trying to say uh, with that one particular girl is like she's not gonna enjoy what she's doing, but she's gonna do it for the sake of money. And you know, if, if you're, do you think the the money? Are you going to find more enjoyment in having the money, or are you gonna find more enjoyment in doing the thing that you love every day? Because really, you have to. I think uh, Jonathan Blow said this in. Um, I was watching an interview with Jonathan Blow. And I'm, I think it was Jonathan Blow. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, and he was he was talking about uh, developing games to uh, to a uh, group of uh, game developers, uh, kids out of college. And you know, uh, you got to do like a, a, a risk assessment, a cost benefit analysis on everything, right? Like, how much money do you want to spend on doing this? project or this part of the project or something like that uh, and that that's that's important uh, to think about and but what he said was do we do more damage doing this maybe I guess I could do this makes it a little bit more dangerous um, but yeah anyway um, and and he said all those things 
Um, but the one thing that a lot of game developers don't keep in mind, and I think the reason that I'm saying this is because I think a lot of people don't keep in mind, is the one metric, the one uh, resource that you have to keep in mind as well, which is maybe the most important, uh, more than the bitrate or the kilobits, or the money or anything like that, uh, that you have to keep in mind is time. Your time in life. That's how much time you have to live. See, because he was talking about, um, you know, he's working on Braid for like three years. And he was working on this one mechanic for like six months. And he realized that it was a mechanic that really increased the value of the game by maybe 1%, 2%. But that, that percent was important to him. But then when, you know, he realized that he was making the game better by maybe 1, 2, 3%, uh, that it wasn't really worth the six months of his life that he threw away on it, uh, for the sake of the game. And that's, that's, that's an important thing to keep in mind. I mean, yeah, maybe you'll be more secure in a life in the financial industry or the business field or something like that, but if you're not gonna enjoy it, if you're gonna waste your life away doing it to make enough money to live comfortably when you're 50, that sounds really boring to me. If you have to go through shittiness so that you can live very comfortably when you're 50, I'd rather live well now for a long time and maybe not be as successful or uh, as, you know, uh, profitable in my life. That's, that's, that's me though. Uh, not everyone feels that way, obviously. Um... One thing I can tell you, one thing I can say for certain, is do what you love, fuck everything else. That's the one thing that I would tell you. I thought we found, uh, Telepathy for Dummies. Evidently we did not. That's alright. Whatever. Okay, we got the wretched going on here. Man, we are doing no damage when we do the uh, chocolate milk brimstone firing. We're just gonna we're just gonna charge it up. Oh balls! Old balls! There's a bunch of old balls here, guys. We gotta deal with these old balls. These old balls of mine. They're ready. They're ready for action. For sloppy, sloppy wet action. I'm kidding. I'm sorry for giving you a terrible mental image, but uh, that's what I do, man. I give terrible mental images all day, every day. That's how I roll. Um, anyway, oh god. Oh dear. Come on, die. Die, you stupid sack of bee butts. All right, nope, 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 nope. I forgot, forgot, forgot. Oh wow, yeah. One single brimstone shot totally wrecked those guys, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and keep that going. That works for me. What is this? Oh! Sexy mama! Hey! Sexy lady! Opa Gagnum style! Yes, this is awesome. Alright, so we're gonna be doing massivo damage. Damage de massivo. Okay. And it's gonna be glorious. We're gonna make a nice uh, hot stinky poop and it's gonna be cool. By the way, that's uh, Tim and Eric Awesome Show. You seriously, if you've never seen Tim and Eric Awesome Show, great time or fun time, uh, you need to watch it because it is the most glorious goddamn thing on the planet. Like seriously, it's so funny. It's one of the best things. If you want to know one good bit, uh, and the one that I just referenced, look up, oh, this is the wrong way, that's a bummer. Um, look up, oh, Dixon Balls. Look up, uh, Italian Massage, Tim and Eric. That's the one I'm referencing. Oh, man, we are running low on health. We could well lose this. Um, my Brimstone's weirding out right now. That's okay. I can't, uh, fire it when I wish to fire it, oddly. Um, but yeah, so, uh, anyway. Oh, God. 
What was I saying? Something about something. Oh, Italian massage. Italian massage. Uh, my name is uh, Nino. I'm not a worker here. I am a customer. Uh, the Nino's very good pizza. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. It's real, real good. It's a real, real good time. You'll have a good time watching it. I'll have a good time with you watching it. Okay, this is a this is a really shitty room, by the way. We could well die on this room. That is a a possibility. That is a distinct possibility. Cause two Monstro twos are a bitch. Like serious bitch time. You don't want to deal with two Monstro twos. Is all I can tell you. We're not hitting him as much as I would like to hit him, but uh, it's working out. We're doing some work. I don't know if um, I don't know if charging up the brimstone actually is giving me oh balls is actually giving me any extra damage. Like if I'm not charging it up fully, am I still getting the extra damage from charging it up partially? I don't know. I really have no idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Mmm, that sucks. That's that's a bummer. It's alright though. We're still good. No worries. Um we are we should worry though. <laughs> to be totally honest, we should probably worry because uh we're running really low on health. And we do have to get to uh okay. We do have to get to Blue Baby sometime soon. Oh, look, it's the secret room. I have a feeling that that is greed. Ah, it's not greed. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um, well, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have come in this room. All right, well, that didn't work out as well as I could have hoped. Didn't hit anything, and uh, we did not do any damage to them. And then I think we got hit subsequently. Oh, bastards. Oh man, Double Monstro 2. I'm telling you, we could die in this room. Double Monstro 2 is very difficult. The last fight actually went pretty well. You know what? I'm gonna use that. We still took damage, by the way. Oh, we... God damn it. We have real low health. Our health is real, real low. Uh, it is not good. This is not good. Okay, one's dead. So we should at least be able to defeat this guy, no problem, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, anytime now. There we go, we got an eternal heart, might as well pick it up. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip two rooms and go this way. Oh, or I'm not. I'm gonna skip two rooms and go this way. Which I should have realized, uh, when I first went in there. Oh, no, no, no. God damn it. There's no reason to hold the brimstone either, now that I remember. Oh, fuck. Immediately take damage. That's a bummer. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, shit. That sucks. Stay away from the red poops. Stay away from the red poops. The poops of Astronaut. Okay, off we go. Oh, man. Uh, dicks, dicks, dicks. Up, oh, balls. All right, well that's not good. We're still good, I think. We can't beat Isaac, though. We cannot beat Blue Baby. Um, even if we get to him, bad guess. Well, that's not gonna help us much. Oh man, this is the wrong way too. God, what are the odds? We are not getting lucky on these rooms, uh, at all. I mean, at least we're not getting the bloat, but oh man, that sucks. At least we're not getting the bloat, but we're still getting some bad things. Okay, the relic. That's good. Oh god, let us find the boss, please! Please, it's all I ask for. That is all that I ask for. All I worship and adore. Oh, come on. Alright, still good. I mean, these are, these are easy. 
These ain't so bad. All right, we got uh, some of the retarded pills there. I ain't gonna take those. Gonna go up this way. Oh, we finally found the boss. All right, here we go. We're fighting Isaac. Can we beat him? I mean, Blue Baby, can we beat him? Um, I don't want to call it early. I'm gonna say no, but we're gonna try our best. It's always good to stay optimistic. It, uh, optimistic, and uh, you know what? It's a beautiful day. Uh, even though it's actually not that beautiful outside, it is. Uh, it is sadly like all cloudy and rainy and garbagey. I do like the rain though. The rain is a fun time. I enjoy the rain. Uh, I enjoy the snow more. Okay, Scapular did some good work for us. We have. Uh, we should be using bombs as often as possible. Oh, fuck! We died? We got a white heart! That was nonsense! I guess a white heart does not count as an extra heart? If you don't have any red hearts. Oh, that's a bummer! I thought we did! I did not- I was not under the impression that we had one blue heart. Alright, well... Well, that kinda blows. Oh, I'm stretching bone saws ready! Um... Anyway. This has been a beautiful day. I have had a beautiful time with you beautiful people, and I love you all. I hope you know that. And thank you all, by the way, for the kind comments in the last uh, video. That was very nice of you. Uh, seriously, like, it, it really it really was very nice. Uh, sometimes it's hard with the shitty people on the internet, but, you know, you guys. You guys. Hearts. I'm making, I'm making the heart symbol with my thumb and fingers. Uh, all the hearts happen right now. All of my hearts shall be given to all of you. Um... Anyway, yes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I apologize that no other videos are going up on the channel today. I'll put out uh, I'll put out two videos tomorrow though. I mean I'm sorry, three videos tomorrow because uh, I have a I have a Zelda and I have Camex Rob. So lots of things will go up tomorrow on the channel, and uh, you know we'll be excited to do them. I'll be excited to do them anyway. Um. Maybe I'll do a Don't Starve, because Don't Starve has been quite some time as well, and I want the winter update. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, uh, if you are into the Isaac series, I would suggest you check out Don't Starve. It's pretty fun. I enjoy playing it, uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a good game. It's a really it's a really good game, uh, so, you know, I would suggest you check it out. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.